are here at uh, Kasabushi, which is uh, on the western side of the Kafu River in uh, Kafu National Park in Zambia, about 40 kilometers south of the M9 road between Mongu and uh, Lusaka. What can we say about uh, Kasabushi? Uh, it's definitely, definitely one of our favorites. Uh, it's every time that we come here a joy to visit. Uh, you can clearly see that, that the owners, uh, Andy and Libby, uh, they, well, they are here and, and they are making sure that maintenance is constantly being done. And, and it shows, it just simply shows. Uh, uh, nothing is broken, everything is working, everything is looking as pristine as it did when they just built it. Uh, many years ago and 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 that's you know that's that's just wonderful to see and wonderful to experience the ablutions are most possibly one of the loveliest we've seen so far in 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 whole of Botswana and Zambia uh, they're not private they're shared but the way that they build it the way that they set it up uh, uh, the amount of water that is coming out of the of the shower it's just uh, it's just great it really is we love it here um, what else can we say? Uh, let me show you around the campsite, and, uh, and then you will uh, then you will see what uh, what we are seeing and, and and why we love it so much. So as I said, the the campsite itself it's uh, situated on the on the Kafu River. Uh, so that means that whenever you get out of bed in the morning, out of your tent, you uh, you have a beautiful view of this uh, constantly flowing river. Uh, which is also full of hippo and, and, and some crocs, um, which you hear at night, well not the crocs but the hippos, uh, they will not come into camp, at least we haven't experienced that and as far as I know nobody has so far, which is a good thing. So the campsite itself, uh, there's always a little uh, table made of natural uh, uh, wood that they found in this area. Uh, they're very ecological friendly here, um, they do provide firewood. And that's also a very nice thing because uh, the, the firewood that they provide, they just lay out for you on the fire pit itself uh, in a nice, uh, nice star uh, pattern. Uh, so all you have to do is put a little fire lighter in it and, uh, and it will burn. They will clean out the fire pit once or twice a day depending on the amount of use, uh, usage of the, of the fire pit, of the firewood. There's a uh, big bundle of wood that you can use, it's all included. Uh, which is great, um, and this is uh, well, yeah, this is the, the the campsite itself. The ablutions are a little bit further on, uh, so it's a bit of a walk, but you can see them in the background. It's the it's a yellow building that you see over there, and I will just quickly show it to you. The toilets are uh, are separate from the from the showers. They're all built in the same style. There's uh, behind that uh, wooden little wooden fence there. Yeah, the containers where you can uh, put your rubbish in and uh, and of course there's a scullery as well which I will show you a little bit later that's all in the same area so let me start with the toilets these are the toilets the two toilets that there are on the campsite Each provided with uh, with a sink and a mirror, some soap to wash your hands with, and the toilet itself, which is just you know it's lovely set up. It's a clean, very clean toilet, flushing. So, well, what more do you want from a toilet? But just look at the way that it's built with natural materials and it's uh, it's painted. I think they paint it once every two years again. Uh, just. Uh, very aesthetical, nice use of colors and a natural material. Let me show you to the shower itself. It's right around the corner. It's all in the same style. So here we are in the shower area. And the shower is, well, that's not the shower head, but it's, well, I'll just show you. I'll just switch on the tap and you will see the water coming. So it's just be standing under an abundance of, uh, of hot water uh, under the stars, so you can uh, <laughs> at night you can uh, admire the starry skies. Uh, they have some. Uh, let's switch it up. There's some uh, some wood that they use where you can just uh, hang your clothes. There's a little table where you can put your uh, toiletries. 
but yeah, it's just uh, it's it's one of the best good looking at least uh, uh, showers ablution facilities that we've seen so far. The scullery right here. Turn the around the corner. There we go. Again, the same style. Hot and cold water where you can wash your uh, wash your dishes or your clothes if you have to. So yeah, the ablutions at Kasabushi Camp in the heart of Kafu, as they say. Absolutely, absolutely love it. And uh, well, if you're ever in Kafu National Park, this is uh, this is definitely one of the campsites that you should stay in. I hope this preview was useful for you. If you want to know more about self drives in Botswana or Zambia, feel free to visit us at www.cocellosafaris.com. We are the self drive specialist for Botswana and Zambia. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel to get regular updates. See you next time.